What up, Pams? And welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Battle Revolution. Shout out to Vinny. I literally just stole his intro, more or less. But welcome back. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you guys for clicking on the video. I really, really flipping do appreciate it. Also, side note, uh, sorry for the super awkward intro. I don't know why, but like every single time I sit down to record one of these episodes, I always think to myself, I'm just like, okay, how awkward can I make this intro? And then I just... I don't know, I just, I keep making it more and more awkward, and it's honestly a problem. But anyways, welcome back. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you guys for joining. I appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and put on my wrist strap, because I don't want to end up, you know, accidentally hurting anybody today. That would be, uh... That'd be a little bit of an oof. We did unlock some rental passes in the previous episode, which actually, by the way, speaking of the previous episode, if you guys do want to go ahead and peep it, I highly, highly recommend it. It was an absolutely amazing episode. It dropped on Friday, had an absolute blast with it, and uh, it was it was a good old time. But anyways, in that episode, we were rocking out with this pass right here, and I figured out, well, actually, I figured out on Thursday's episode, but I ended up figuring out that these levels, uh, they don't change. Right, they're the same. So we literally had a level 2 beauty of going up against level 53s, and it was kind of an oof. So, what I want to do is I want to make an entire team of capable Pokemon. And uh, also, I was talking about it in the previous episode, but I want to go back and actually physically unlock those rental passes because, in case you guys didn't know, uh, we unlocked some more rental passes, but we can't actually use them in other Coliseums unless I beat them in the Gateway Coliseum first. Unfortunately, I didn't get the chance to go ahead and do that in between episodes, and I would do it right now, but honestly, I don't want to do it on camera because I don't feel like replaying the Gateway Coliseum over and over again. I just don't think that'd be interesting. Uh, so I'll definitely be doing it for probably the next episode, but uh, unfortunately, I'm kind of low on time and I'm actually leaving my house in like 10 minutes but well Skylar's gonna be here in 10 minutes to pick me up but we're not actually leaving for a little bit but anyways with that being said my whole life story out of the way we're gonna go ahead and build a better team we're gonna build a team that's more levelly capable that's not even a word but I'm gonna say it like that uh we could actually grab uh this dark ride and this sweet goons level 100 I know I said I wasn't gonna grab them because I didn't want a super broken team, but a lot of you guys were talking about it uh, down below in the comment section how it actually wouldn't be that bad. It would actually be kind of funny and uh, cool to see some of these Pokemon, and I agree it would be kind of cool, but with them being at level 100, if this upcoming Coliseum is anything like the last Coliseum, it's going to make it to where every single Pokemon on the opposing team matches our highest level. So if we throw a level 100 Pokemon on this team, Every single Pokemon that we're going to be facing is going to be level 100, and that's going to be an absolute mess. That would make it to where Dark Ryan Suicune would be the only Pokemon that could keep up. So, I'm just going to scoop up a Zoomerill, I think. Um, and I think I'm just going to... Let me switch out Bidoof for the Giraffe Rig. I don't think we have any better... Like, it's hard to find a good balance with levels here, but I don't think we have... Actually, no, we have an Empoleon! Oh, shoot! Okay, we'll throw Empoleon on there. And then, in, in replace of Drifloom... Do we have any more level 50s? Because, honestly, if we could just, like, keep a full team of, like, around level 50s, that would probably be the best. Yeah, Gastron. Let's grab Gastron. Okay, so we're going to have a ton of water types here. Um, and I think at this point, Azumarill is the only Pokemon that's, like, under-leveled, right? Everything else is level 50, right? Yeah, let me see if, um... Let me see if we have another level 50 to switch out for Azumarill. That way, just everybody is kind of on par and can fend for themselves. Okay, aside the level 100s we have in our party, this is the highest leveled Pokemon I have. So, we're gonna rock out with it. We have an absolute butt-ton of water types, which is super annoying, but I think... I think it'll be good. I think it'll be alright, because even though we basically have all water types, um, they should be able to fend for themselves much better than a level 2 Bidoof and a level, like, 16 Drifloom, so we're gonna rock out with it. We'll see how it goes, and with this upcoming Coliseum, which is the Neon Coliseum, it is going to, I'm pretty sure, randomize the Pokemon we get anyway, so I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. We also have access to the Crystal Coliseum, but honestly, I'm really, really, really feeling the Neon Coliseum. I know this Coliseum is exciting, and I'm just pumped to get into it. So, Neon Coliseum, we have a fortune battle using the wheel. Choose your Pokemon for both your and your opponent's Pokemon. Luck is key. So, actually, with this wheel, we can gain access to... Our opponent's Pokemon. How to use the Pokemon wheel. In a fortune battle, your Pokemon and your opponents will be mixed. The Pokemon that will enter the battle are chosen by the wheel. Hold the Wiimote vertically. Oh no. This is going to require me to like actually use the motion controls. And not going to lie, my sensor is not in a good place for this. But I'm going to try. Yeah, as you can see, it's a little bit of a mess. Pokemon wheel. Alright, start. Asteroid's turn. Holding it vertically. So what, do we just hit A? Or maybe not? Or do we have to... I think we have to actually point it at the... 
Oh no, I was supposed to hold it vertically and then hit. Okay, hang on. I'll just I'll just do it like this because whatever, it's easier. Uh, come on, c c c c come on. <laughs> what you're about? There we go. But what are we gonna get? We got a car divine. Okay, okay. Oh, Alyssa got fart. Alyssa got fart. Oh no, it's over. It's over. She destroyed us. The, the battle was already won before it even started. There's no way we can win now. Oh, we have the Psyduck. Oh, she, oh, she got poop. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got Beedra level 59. Wait. Wait. All these Pokemon are set to level 59. All these po Oh, so shoot. Shoot, so we could have brought the level 100 and it would have made every single Pokemon level 100. We also got Fold Soul. All right, sweet. And she got Luxio. Okay. All right, so this team isn't the best. So she's going to leave with the Ledian and the Gastrodon. Man, I absolutely love this Coliseum. I absolutely love this Coliseum. So with the Carnivine, we have Ingrain, Stockpile, Double Team, and Spit Up. Um, hmm, honestly, not in a very good position. We don't even have a good Grass type attack to hit the poop with. I'm going to go for Stockpile. With Carnivine. And with Psyduck here, um... Oh, my friend Connor's calling me. Hang on. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time, Con. Alright, not gonna lie, we're in a really, really bad position here. She's using our own team against us. It's a little bit broken. I'm gonna go for the Zen Headbutt on... On Poop, I guess? I don't know, man. Honestly, we should probably switch out. Because Carnivine can't do anything, and... Psyduck isn't really in, in much better of a position here. Um, but yeah, no, this this Coliseum is, is really interesting. Like, I love the format involved because it reminds me of, like, a Pokemon randomizer, like a typical Pokemon randomizer. Um, so I think that's super cool. And then, yo, Psyduck just did a little belly flop. He did a little belly flop. That's cute. That's cute. We're going to go with the stock file on Carnivine to see what happens here. I, yeah, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. We're in a really, really bad spot. But it's interesting because it's all... It's all random, you know? So it really adds a whole new dynamic to the battle. And also, this costume in general just reminds me of Vegas. Um, I've never actually been to Vegas, but it just reminds me of that kind of aesthetic, you know? So anyways, I'm gonna go for, I think, the spit up. Actually, no, I'll stockpile again. Let me get the maximum amount of stockpiles for the maximum amount of damage. And then we'll hit him with the spit up and, and do a lot of damage to somebody. Um, I think we'll go ahead and we'll switch out with Psyduck, though. Because Psyduck honestly isn't doing too well. We can switch into Beedrill. Or no, we can go into, um... We can go into Floatzel. Because Floatzel can hit somebody with a Hyper Beam. And that should do a good amount of damage. I honestly couldn't see Beedrill doing much. We're kind of at this point now with the with these teams. That, like, no, nobody's super effective on, on anybody. So, like, we're both kind of just, like, whittling each other down, it almost feels like. Because, uh, I mean, it'd be nice if Carnivine had, like, an actual grass-type move. Obviously, this trainer, this Pikachu trainer, doesn't know how to train anything but a Pikachu. Oh, my God. Like, this moveset's actually ridiculous. I hope the rest of our Pokemon aren't this bad. Because, if so, we're, we're going to be in a pickle every time we uh, end up with one of them. But, uh, Poop is going to go for the Muddy Water. Ah, oh, I love the Muddy Water animation. I love the Muddy Water. Oh, it's going to get a crit. I'm full to bro. You better chill. You better chill. Also, I'm pretty sure this is our first double battle in the series, which is kind of cool. I'm going to go for the Stockpile again because, honestly, Carnivine does not care. Uh, we'll go for the Hyper Beam with Float Soul on, I guess, Fart? I guess Fart? Yeah, we'll go for Hyper Beam on Fart. Fart's pretty fragile. It's kind of cool that, like, you know, we have this dynamic of facing our own Pokemon. We're going to get the crit with the Hyper Beam. It's still not going to be able to fish him off, though. Come on, Fart. Come on, Fart. You're not that bulky. Silver One's going to hit the Carnivine. That's super effective. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Why did the CPU wait until now to go for a, a super effective Silver Wind? I forgot that we had Silver Wind on Ledian for whatever reason. But yeah, no, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why she waited until now. Poop's gonna go for the strength. Oh, no. Voltal, take the hit. Take the hit, Voltal. Come on, man. Oof. Oof. Yo, Voltal's like, I'm staring you down. Wait. I'm staring you down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight. Okay, the team is not looking good. If I had to describe it, good would not be the adjective I'd use. I'm going to go into Beedrill, because Beedrill's kind of like just the best um, the best option we have here. Look at this man. Look at this man go. Beedrill's so adorable. Carnivine's trying to eat something that doesn't exist. I'm going to go for the spit up on Poop. Hopefully, with all these stockpiles, I'll do a good amount of damage. And as long as we don't get knocked out before, uh, before we're able to attack, we should be all right. I'm going to go for Fart with the Twin Needle. I think that should be able to finish him off. He's going to go for the Swift. Oh, no. Don't kill Carnivine. 
Okay, Cardivine lives, thank goodness. We have to be able to land this spit up or else it literally... Like, these past few turns would have meant nothing. So, Fart's gonna go down. That's pretty sweet. Come on, Carnivine. Come on, Carnivine. It's all up to you. As long as we don't get knocked out here, I think we're gonna outspeed Poop, right? Poop is not fast. Poop is not fast. There we go. Hit him with that spit up. Do the dang thing. And... Ah, uh, it doesn't finish him off. Poop is too bulky. Poop is too bulky. And now we're gonna die to this muddy water. Shoot. I mean, at least Carnivine did something. I was a little bit afraid there for a second that... He was going to get knocked out without having the chance to actually attack. Um, but luckily, the stockpiles absolutely boosted his defense through the roof, and we were able to survive there for a little bit. But Carnivine, great job, man. Uh, it would have been better if you just had a grass-type attack. I don't know what your trainer was thinking, but anyways, I I'm glad you were able to uh, support the team in, in some aspects. But look at Sada. Look at how sad he is, man. He's got a headache. He's like, ay, ay, ay. Aw. Aw, sad little boy. Oh, but he's flying! Oh my god! I love him! I love him! Alright, we're gonna go for the puzzle with the Zen Headbutt. And then I'll go ahead and I'll hit the Poop with the Twin Needle. We are at a pretty big disadvantage here. We only have two Pokemon and she has three. She goes for an Encore! Okay! Alright, Plusle. Hit him with that Twin Needle. Come on, Beedrill. Look at you putting in the work. But yeah, no, I totally should have brought, like, the Dark Rider this week. Maybe not both of them, because that would have been a little bit ridiculous. But I should have brought at least one. Because in that way... That way, just all these Pokemon would be level 100, and it wouldn't be as bad, you know? But it's alright, and honestly, I do want to use that Darkrai. Like, using a Darkrai in this game honestly sounds like so much fun. Just like, all the legendary models in this game, well, all the models in general, but specifically the legendary ones are so freaking cool. Like, the opening, um, the opening sch schematic for this game, or the opening cutscene with, like, all the different legendaries going, Yeah! It's just super, super cool. I, I think it's awesome. Uh, but then again, I'm totally biased. We're gonna go for the Plusle again. Uh, I want kind of want to get this Plusle out of here, but then again, they're both electric types, and they both can absolutely annihilate our team. So we're kind of in a bad spot. I'll hit the Luxio with the Twin Needle. Yeah, we're in a really, really bad spot. I wish you could, like... I wish you could, like, use potions in this game. Is there a way to use potions? I don't think so. Like, I don't think there's any way to heal unless you're going for, like, uh, Recover or whatever. Um, so that's kind of unfortunate. We do get the poison, though, on the Luxio, which is sweet. Alright, we might still stand a chance. This battle is going to be super, super clutch. With this whole randomized aspect, it really adds, like, a whole... A whole new level of just difficulty, honestly. He goes for the spark, though, on who is probably going to finish off whoever he hits. Yeah, Psyduck is gone. Rest in peace. Psyduck, Oh, look at the tear in his eye! Oh, Psyduck! That's so sad! You could tell they took a lot of the inspiration from the anime. With, like, his animations and stuff. It's 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 cute. It really is. Alright, we're gonna go for the, the Twin Needle, because it's kind of all we can do. It's kind of all we're, we're locked into. Uh, she's gonna throw the Prism Berry. What is that gonna do? Is that gonna... What, what, what is that? Uh, oh. Okay, it's gonna do nothing. It's gonna heal us! Oh! Oh, wait, no, that was our berry. <laughs> I thought she had healed us by flinging that berry onto us, but no. No, that was us healing ourselves, and she's gonna knock us out with the spark. Oh my god. Oh my god. We literally have made no progress in today's episode. <sighs> okay. How about this? Change of plans, right? Change of plans. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna exit this because it's not like we made any progress to begin with. Um... And we're going to change up our pass. We're going to throw the Dark Rye on there. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Let's throw the Dark Rye and the Suicune on there. I'm feeling frisky. Initially, right, I didn't want to put him on there because I thought it would be too overpowered. Right? I thought it was going to be too broken. Especially if they were the only level 100s. Um, you know, but with the, with the costume that we're doing right now, I think it's totally fair. Because not only is every single Pokemon now going to be set to level 100, but the opponent has a chance to gain access to these Pokemon as well. So, we're gonna rock out with it. I think this is like the perfect Coliseum to use these Pokemon if we're ever going to get the chance to use them. So, we're gonna switch out, um, my boy. We're gonna switch out my boy Psyduck for the Suicune. And then we're gonna grab... Let's see. Let's see, who should we switch out for Darkrai? I guess Fart, but I feel like Fart is kind of iconic, man. I kind of want to keep Fart because he's like, um... You know, he's like my boy. He's like he's like my son, all right? We should definitely switch out one of our water types, honestly, because we just have way too many of those. Um, and I kind of want to use Empoleon, and I kind of want to use Gastron, because, 
you know, we uh, haven't really had the chance to use them and they're kind of new to us. So I think we'll get rid of Floatzel. I mean, you guys know I absolutely love Floatzel, so this, this pains me to do. But I think if we're going to get rid of any of the water types, I think this makes the most sense. Um, just because we've already had the chance to use Photo, and I kind of want to give the other two new water types a shot. So we'll go ahead and rock out with that, and then we'll grab, we'll grab my boy Darkrai. The shiny Darkrai, there's no way this Pokemon isn't hacked. I just want to throw out there, there's no way this Pokemon isn't hacked. We have Dark Boy, Dream Eater, Shadow Claw, and Shadow Ball. Yeah, no, I, I would, I would eat my shorts if this Pokemon somehow wasn't hacked. But anyways, we're going to rock out with that and uh, see how it goes. I mean, here's the thing, this could be... Like, these battles could be extremely one-sided depending on who gets these Pokemon. You know, like, the opponent could get both the Suicune and the Dark Ryan. We would be absolutely screwed. So, we'll see how this goes. We really just gotta hope luck is on our side. Pikachu fan Alyssa, here we go! Here we go! Alright, we're gonna hold it vertically this time. We're gonna hit start. And... Are we just... I don't think we're supposed to use the pointer. I think we're literally just supposed to hit A. Or, no, we're not. We are supposed to use the pointer. What? That's honestly so confusing. I'm gonna try and like... Ooh, we got the Bastrodon, level 100. We got the Snow... Or... She gets the Snover. Okay. Um... Let's do it again. I could... <gasps> we got the Suicune! But she got the Darkrai! Bro! Okay. Okay. Alright. But as I was gonna say, I could try and time it. To where like, I... I press A at a specific moment to try and get a specific Pokemon that I want. But honestly, I think I'm just gonna... I think I'm just gonna leave it up to luck. We got a level 100 plus soul. And she has the Luxio. Okay. Respectable. And now we're also gonna get Poop. Sweet. Sweet and Beedrill. Okay. Alright, so that's pretty fair. We both have a Legendary. This is gonna be tough, man. This is gonna be tough. At least it's not one-sided. You know? I mean, well, actually, it, it could be... It could be one-sided in my favor, and I don't think I'd really mind that much. But at least it's not one-sided in her favor. At least we have something to counteract that Darkrai. She's gonna leave with the Darkrai and the Snowver. Yo, look at the shiny sparkles! It's so cool. So we're gonna set up the Snow Warning. All right. Okay. We have a really, really solid team. Um, outside of like the the Plusle. Wait, we do have the Plusle, right? We have yeah, Plusle and Poop. So Plusle's kind of like the weak link, but I mean, hey, outside of that, we're doing pretty good. Uh, Bassidon has Rock Tomb, Taunt, Avalanche, and Block. Let's go for the Avalanche on Darkrai. I think that'll be smart. And then we'll also go for... Dude. <laughs> dude, this Suicune is nuts. We'll also go for the Ice Beam on Snover. Because that, that should do neutral damage, right? Because it's part grass. Snover's going to go for the Ice Shard. That's priority. Bastion's taking that hit to the bank. Snover, you ain't got nothing on my boy. Look at his ferocious face. He's ready to eat somebody. Darkrai's going to go for the Shadow Claw on who? Suicune. Oh, no. We're taking that hit. Suicune's bulky. Ah, Suicune's eating that for days. Suicune, Suicune's eating that up for breakfast. Hit him with that ice beam. Absolutely annihilate him. Is that super effective? No, ice versus ice. Okay. That's what I figured. That's what I figured. Bastion's gonna go for the avalanche on Darkrai. Hopefully that'll do some damage. Oh. Ooh. Darkrai, like, looks so lax in this game. I don't know what it is about his, about his like, animations, but he seems so chill. He's like, he's chilling on the couch, it's like a lazy Saturday for him. And he's sitting back watching The Bachelorette. You know, you know how it is. You know how it is. Uh, we're gonna hit him with that, I think the Rock Tomb? And then we'll go ahead and go for the Hydro Pump on Darkrai. We might as well rock out with this. He's gonna go for the Shadow Ball on Bastion. On Bastion, take it, it's not very effective. Look at this man go! Look at this man go! Hit him with that Hydro Pump. Dude, Hydro Pump's animation is nuts. Uh, but that, that still didn't do a lot of damage. Darkrai's taking these hits a lot better than I expected, to be honest. Okay, Snowbird's out of here! Get out of here, Snowbird, you tried. Look at him go, he's like a fallen Christmas tree. Aw. Aw, what a sad boy. What a sad boy. But yeah, hopefully you guys have an amazing day today. I really do appreciate you guys' support, as always. Side note, I'm eating combos. They're the cheddar cheese combos, in case you guys are wondering. Not my favorite flavor of combos, but... Um, they are, they are pretty sweet. Like, if I had to rate them out of 10, I'd probably give them like a 5. Um, they're not the worst. I would say my favorite flavor of combos has to be the, um, the buffalo cheese ones. Let me know down below. Question of the day. What's your favorite kind of combos? I'd love to hear it from you guys. Uh, we're gonna hit the dark right again with the hydro pump. Hopefully we don't miss. He's gonna go for the shadow claw. Alright, we should be fine. We should be fine. Sweeper's taking these hits for days. You see that big gem on his head? Yeah, that's, that's specifically for taking hits from dark rise. <laughs> That's the only reason why he has it. Just to oh, we get the crit, bro! Look at the Suicune come through, get annihilated. Oh, he's so sad. Aww, Darkrai is so sad in this game. 
He's so chill, and then he's like, "Oh." I, I can't tell if that's him being frustrated or him just being sad. I don't know. It seems it seems funny to have such like a a devastating character of such a weak emotional crux, you know. I don't know. I think it's cute. We're gonna take some hail damage, which is kind of unfortunate. Not gonna lie, having weather in this game just takes so long. I mean, weather in, in most Pokemon games, like, just takes forever. Because you have to wait on it to do damage to every single Pokemon. But especially in this game, I don't know why, but it just, it feels really, really slow. I'm gonna go for the Rock Tomb on Beedrill. And then we'll go ahead and we'll hit the Luxio with an Ice Beam. Or no. No, no, no. We'll just go for the Hydro Pump. Well, let's go for the Hydro Pump. There's honestly no reason for me not to. Uh, I mean, we're not missing them, so might as well just keep going for it. And it stabs. So, Luxio, get absolutely annihilated. Rest in peace. You tried. It was a solid attempt. But with a Suicune on my team, I'm sorry, but there's nobody stands a chance. Uh, but yeah, anyways, let me know down below what you guys think about us using these legendaries. I figured this Coliseum would be the perfect place to do it, simply because of the fact that it does have that randomized aspect, and also because all the levels are balanced, so it's not like, you know, we're super, super overpowered. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Honestly, it'd be really, really cool, and I want to do this pretty soon. Uh, it'd be super cool to do, like, a Battle Revolution live stream where I go through, and instead of playing Battle Revolution, I'm playing Pokemon Pearl. I kind of... I kind of brought this idea up in the last episode, and a lot of you guys seem to agree with it, but it'd be super, super cool if we could go in and do, like, a live stream of my Pokemon Pearl game, and, uh, and just have, like, a stream of us catching Pokemon to specifically use in Battle Revolution. Um, I'd actually totally be down to do that, uh, very, very soon, so if you guys are down to see that, I would 100% be open to doing that. Um, but anyways, though, we're gonna hit the Beedrill with, I think, a Rock Tomb is what I went for, and then we'll go for the Ice Beam on the Beedrill just to wrap things up here. Uh, but it would be super cool to like maybe go legendary hunting in Pokemon Pearl and uh, just see what legendaries we can get our hands on for future Coliseum battles. In case you guys didn't know, I know I've been mentioning it in like every single piece of media that I'm going to be gone for the first half of June. Uh, sorry if it's kind of getting annoying to you guys who have already heard this feel like a million times. But yeah, I'm going to be gone. It's going to be a trip. And by a trip, I mean two trips. I'm going to Michigan and I'm also going to Georgia. Hello. Oh, thank you. Uh, we were actually just about to wrap things up. This is Skylar. She's uh, picking me up to, to leave. Uh, we're yoding out of here. We're going to the mall. We're going to get some stuff. Wait, I can't say that, can I? Okay, I can't say what we're getting, but we're, we're going where? We're going places. We're going where? We're going places. All right, with that being said, um... I think we're gonna wrap this episode up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are freaking beautiful. Hit that like button and don't let him tell you what to do. <laughs> Who are you working for? <laughs> Skylar. Ugh. I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching and peace. Do you know what this game is? Yeah, we used to play it all the time. Okay, cool. Anyways, see you guys. Bye!